Good evening. Can you hear me? Hello, hello. Good evening. Hello, Miss. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me well? Yes. Thanks. Nice. All right. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Well, I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's doing great. I hope you're all fine. You had a wonderful day, hopefully. And today, welcome to our session number four of this level. Number three, actually. All right, let me share your screen. Let me see if everything is all right. Today is November the 16th. Yes, correct. All good? All right. Okay. Yeah, I see two messages on the chat. Some people saying good evening. That's nice. That's very kind of you. Saying good evening on the chat. Good evening from David and from Ryan. All right. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. From Laura. That's good. Yes, remember the chat box is for you to interact with everybody. Miguel Angel, good evening, good evening. Mm -hmm. Somebody else? Okay, Karen, nice. Excellent. All right, someone else? Good evening, Ivan Arnoldo, nice. Natalia, good evening. Okay, good. Well... I've been having kind of flu. Okay, nice. Excellent. We're going to get started, of course, as you know. We have the usual reminders, the attendance. Oh, by the way, have you worked on the platform so far? Yes. Work completed the first three lessons assignments at least. Okay, Elton, good evening. And so it's important to have cameras in participation as well, right? Okay. The expected way to be in the session, okay. And of course, okay, this is your manual, just as a reminder, it's okay. If you have the PDF, but it's great if you could edit the PDF. But if you're not very familiar with editing files on PDF, you better print it and have it on paper so you can write down, take notes, write examples, copy examples, and that's great. Okay, yesterday we review the core values of a company, then we talk about how different departments in a company relate, okay, or the relationship. And now we're going to describe and, okay, yeah, we're going to be able to describe the expertise and reputation of a company. Okay, so instructions, okay, all students will be able to describe the expertise reputation of their company. It's something we should know. Okay, so we're going to be talking about that. We're going to make a little review. So let me have the attendance first. My right, first things first. Mm. Let me see. Let me see. One second, please. Mm. Okay. Let's get started, Anna Cristina. Not here, Brian. Mm. 
At some point, Here. I, hi. Okay, Sorry. that's all right. David, David Miguel, good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Deborah Beatriz. Good night, present. Uh, good evening. Okay, Doris Elizabeth. Doris, not here. Elvin Gabriel. Present, Miss. Hello, good evening. Gracias, Marisol. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hector Manuel. Hi, good evening. Good evening, welcome. Imelda Xiomara. Present, teacher. Hello, good evening. All right. Ivan Arnoldo. Here, teacher. Hello, good evening. Joana de la Paz. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Jocelyn Karina. Present. Hello, good evening. Karen Melissa. Hello, present. Okay, good evening. Kevin Edgardo. Oh, Kevin hasn't connected. Ah, interesting. Okay, Laura Berenice. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Maria Irma. Miguel Angel. Present. Hi. Good evening. Yes. Present teacher. Hi, Miguel Angel. Good evening. Nelson Alberto. Nelson? No. Paula Natalia. Good night, present. Hello, good evening. Ricardo Mauricio. No, <laughs> not yet. Okay, Wendy Geraldina. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Wilmer yes. Alexander. Present teacher. teacher. Hi, good evening. How are good you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Well, let me just, oh yes, something right here. Wait a second. You know what I said, I just need to double check something. Okay, okay. Well, as I was mentioning, yes, yesterday we were talking about the core values and the relation, yeah, among the different departments in a company. So give me just one second, because apparently, yeah, I'm about to get the manual. Just the right page, hold on. One second, please. Yes, this is the one we practiced yesterday. Uh -huh. How you relate. Mm, exactly. Then, oh, yes. Okay. Before anything else, yeah, I just want to share the screen. And remember what we were studying yesterday. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. I sit down. Yeah. All right. So we were studying this structure. 
Okay, how to use ing form after prepositions. Remember that I, I was giving you example like unresponsible for. Yes, and then after for, we were using the verb in ing. Okay, in this manual, <laughs> I know we have a lot, a lot of grammar because this is another structure when we use gerunds after preposition. So the, the expressions is I'm responsible for or I'm in charge of. Remember? Let me get something from here. Mm, this one. Okay. Look at the questions in exercise three and complete the statements below. Use a verb. Okay. Use a verb plus ing after a proposition. So practically, what we do here is this. We use the verb in ing after the preposition. So I'm going to change it color. This is preposition for. Okay, after the preposition for, I'm going to make another circle. This is a preposition. Or after the preposition of, okay? So we use a verb in ing, okay? Like going, checking, analyzing, okay? Supervising, distributing, accepting, Coming, eso es un verbo en ING. Ok, so después de, la pre, de las uh, preposición for or of, el verbo que sigue tiene que ir en ING. And I remember you wrote some examples on the chat, so we're just going to review. So when you say, I am responsible for sending the mail. Okay, or I'm responsible for opening the offices. Okay, I'm in charge of taking notes at the meetings or I'm in charge of supervising the plan or whatever the work it is that you do. Okay, so after these, Oh, wait a second. We have to delete all the drawings. Okay. So who is responsible for the verb supervised in ING is? Who is responsible for? Supervise. Pero agreguen la ING. Supervising. Exactly. Who is responsible for supervising? Uh-huh. So, this verse in the parenthesis, como van, justamente después de la preposición for, of, for, for, of, for, van a ir en ING, okay? So, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Who is in charge of? Mm -hmm. Checking. Of checking the quality of the products. Who is responsible for repairing? Uh -huh. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Who is accountable for so, selling the products? Uh -huh. Who is in charge of assisting? Assistant ensemblers, who is accountable for managing. managing? Yes, managing the whole operation. Okay, así ya han completado las questions y luego les toca revisar el organizational chart y responder. Yes, for example, the first one, who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Si aquí están las machine operators, ¿quién es el que lo supervisa? Uh -huh. Supervisor. The supervisor, yes. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? The supervisor. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? 
Ajá, ¿dónde está el Quality Control Inspector? Looks like him, right? Auditor. The Auditor? Mm -hmm. No. I think so. Aunque okay, el auditor tenía, tendría que auditarlos a todos ellos. Quality Control Inspector, Floor Manager, Financial Department, a todos ellos. But for, probably is a Quality Control Inspector. Is in charge of checking the quality of the product. Porque, como lo dice ya su función, ¿verdad? Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? No. Supervisor. The supervisor. Repairing the problems of the machine. Uh, maintenance personal. Maintenance personal, probably. Yes. But we don't know. Oh, yeah, we do have maintenance personnel. Yes. Mm hmm. Who is accountable for selling the products? In the sales department. The sales department, definitely. Who is in charge of assisting the assemblers? Mm -hmm. ¿Quiénes apoyan a los ensambladores? Truck drivers. Truck drivers. Truck drivers or the machine operators? Most, most likely the machine operators, right? The driver just yes, solo le llevan la product, the final product. Who is accountable for managing the whole operation? Toda la operación de este, de esta company, de toda la organización. General manager. The general manager. Ya yeah, sé, es el que está acá, justamente el que ve a todo. Sí. Ok, so poor general manager. Vale, ya lo resolvimos acá, así que no issues. A la hora de preguntarle a su partner, pues ya se le va a hacer como más fácil, pero yo. Ok. Igual, si no tienen, uh, si no tienen el file in, eh, impreso, igual les puedo compartir screenshot, no problem. Justamente como yo iba haciendo las questions, igual usted se las hace a su partner, luego su partner se las hace a usted. Si no están como muy claros en la respuesta, pues you can discuss first, right? But the idea is that you read the question usando el verbo in ing after the preposition. All right? Clear? Thumbs up? Okay. Let's go. Okay, sabemos ahorita por, No tenemos imagen de las preguntas, ¿verdad? No. Ah, no, te lo puedo mandar la dicha. 
No sé si le comprendieron lo que íbamos a realizar. Sí, de acuerdo al diagrama que está ahí, vamos a saber por operators. Dice, who is responsible for the machine? Supervisor. 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 Yes. Please yes. share of checking the quality of the products. Quality, quality. Yes. Auditor. Teacher, what do you say? Uh -huh. What do you say, auditor? Quality control inspector. Hi. Yes. Uh, thanks. No problem. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Sería... Espérame que ver. ¿Dónde está esto? Aquí está. Who is responsible for supervise the machine operator? A ver. Ya les están haciendo ustedes. No. Charge of. Ay, Nelson. Hola, Wilmer. Creo okay, que ya mandaron el screenshot de el WhatsApp. Sí, solo que yo no sé por qué estoy teniendo muchos problemas. Ahorita acabo de entrar apenas y me conectaron a este, en esta sala. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, entonces okay. estoy fuera de contexto. Ah, ok. Ajá, pero si, si hay algo que, 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 que ver, o porque incluso ni, ni con la máquina estoy, sino que estoy con el teléfono, pero si hay algo que, que podamos trabajar, solo decime, voy a ver el, lo de WhatsApp y, y vemos. Ah, vale, algo. chivo, dale, tranquilo. Ajá, ajá. Ya hiciste algo. Entonces, we charge of checking the quality of the products. ¿Quién supervisa o quién ve la calidad de los productos? Mm -hmm. Veamos. Quality control inspector, ¿no? Sería quality control. Ajá. Ajá. Uh -huh. Inspector. Y la tercera la tiene, que es who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machine. Mm. 
No, veamos, resolvamos eso. Me dicen si pueden ver la pantalla. No. Permítame. No, no se puede compartir. Bueno. Vaya, entonces continuemos. Oh, eh, la segunda, ¿verdad? Esta es Way the sugar, sugar of shaking, ¿verdad? The quality of the product. Supervising. Supervising. With the selling of product, selling, selling. Is the is from what do you say departments? Say the. Environment. Revising, checking, repair, repairing, repairing, spelling, no. selling, assisting, assisting, the sunboard. Can I do that one? A lo ensamblado.
Sí, así es. Uh, numbers. Mm -hmm. With the short of passing the assembler. Machine operation. Machine opera, operarle los operadores, creo que era. Mm -hmm. Sí, machine operator. Machine, operator. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. La verdad que con el manual no sale más fácil responder. Mm -hmm. Ya impreso. <coughs> machine, operator. Bueno, y eh, el number six, who is accountable for managing. Allí sí es uh -huh. el eje también. The Google, Google operation. Google operation. Uh -huh. Ahí general manager. ¿verdad? No, floor manager. Mm, yo escuché que era el primero, el principal. El, el primero que está que es general manager o, o es flow floor manager es el que está arriba de todo donde va la operación según el, el, el cómo se llama el, el mapa el organigrama ah es el organigrama uh -huh. Me quedé en la segunda, no la respondí, no sé si me escuché bien. With the chart of shaking, the quality of the product, ¿cuál es el este? Para... Quality control. Quality control inspector. Uh -huh. um... Okay, está diciendo como quién es que se queda la calidad del producto. Uh -huh, el control de calidad. Sí, porque solo es el departamento, está, ¿verdad? El superior. ¿Cuál es el control? La última, ¿están seguras que era el floor manager? En las cinco, la ¿cuál dejaron? La de floor manager. Oh, muy bien. Pero, ajá, como dice ahorita... David me da ajá, duda que sea por uh -huh. un manager. Es que yo escuché General Manager. Es, o sea, que era el, él es el, el dueño ya de toda la operación. Sí, habla, ajá, dice quién es el responsable de toda la operación. De toda la operación, ajá. Ajá, tiene que ser el gerente general. Sí, yo escuché a la teacher que es el General Manager. Sí, uh -huh. sí es el, el encargado de toda la operación. Deje, pongámosle en general manager. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Vaya, ahora preguntémonos, ¿verdad? Eh, si usted empezamos, somos uno, dos, tres, cuatro, son sí, seis, ¿verdad? Seis, en la seis dejaron, eh, ¿cuál dejaron en la seis? En eh, la respuesta. ¿Sí? El general manager. ¿Y en la cinco? La de eh, Machi no, machine Operator. Oh. Ajá. Y el otro es Salas. Ajá. Sí, o sea, es... Sí, era... sí, es... Quality control. Vaya, la tercera es eh, maintenance pers personal. Yes. Pers personal. Yes. La tres sería sales department. La, yes. perdón, la, la otra sería sales department. La otra sería el
super busy. Sí, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Ok. Sí. Repeat. Number one. Who, who is responsible for supervising the machine operator? Super, mm -hmm. super busy. Mm -hmm. eh, the supervisor. Voy yo con la segunda. Okay. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the products? Quality control inspector. Okay. So, let me number two, number three. Uh, who is responsible for reports? Reports the problem of the machine. Mm, maintenance personnel. Number four, who is accountable for selling the, the, the products? Solid department. Okay. Uh, who is, number five, who is the share of assisting the assembler, assemblers? Machine operator. Operator, operator, uh -huh. sí, operator. Number six. Who is accountable for managing the whole operation? General manager. Okay. Okay. Oh. We see baby y when. Baby is este por ahí. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operators? Supervisor. Who is charge of checking the quality of the products? Quality control inspector. Who is responsible for repairing, repairing the problems of the machines? Maintenance personnel. Who is accountable for selling the products? Sales department. Who is charge of assisting the assemblers? Assemblers. Who is accountable for mana managing the goalie operation? General manager. May I ask my pregunta y yo respondo. Who is responsible for supervising the machine operator? Supervisor. Who is in charge of checking the quality of the product? Quality control inspector. Who is responsible for repairing the problems of the machines? Maintenance personnel. Who is accountable for selling the products? Sales department. Who is in charge of assisting the, the assembler? Machine operators. Who is accountable for managing the world operation? General manager. Perfecto, perfecto. Okay, repeat uh, with Deborah. All right, ¿qué tal les fue en los grupos? A lot of practice. All good. Toso. Very good. Very good. Okay, nice. Okay. Amazing. Amazing. ¿Le costó? Difficult. No, easy, easy, very easy. easy. Very All easy. the more difficult, teacher, please. <laughs>
<laughs> a more difficult activity. <laughs> no, en serio, les fue, les fue fácil. Ya tenían la idea, claro. Sí, yo creo que sí. Bueno, mi grupo creo que sí. Todos eran bebés. Hasta un Todo. niño, hasta un bebé en inglés apareció ahí. Hablando. Todo súper pro. Ok. Yes. <ríe> Excelente. Vale, si alguien tiene alguna dificultad, díganlo ya para poderle apoyar. That's the idea, because we are here learning. Estamos aprendiendo, pero si hay algo que no les había quedado claro, pues now you can say what was the hardest part, what was difficult. For everybody understood the exercise? That's awesome. Si todos lo entendimos, pues perfecto, no problem. Okay, eso es parte del repaso de la clase de ayer, actually. <laughs> okay, no nos vamos a entender más because we have a new topic. Y es el de hablar de la reputation de su empresa, de su company. Discuss and write about the reputation of your company. ¿Por qué es famosa? ¿Por qué es conocida su empresa? Right? What is reputation? How do business build their reputation? And what is the reputation of the place that you work for? Okay. Obviamente, acá la presentan de esta manera, la lección. Just give me a second. I just need to show the presentation I have. Quiero lo que les decía, el objective, the participants will be able to describe the, expert, the expertise. O sea, ¿en qué son expertos en su empresa? ¿En qué se especializan? Right? So, what's the expertise that you have in your company? Y the reputation that your company has. For example, if I talk about inglés corporativo, what is the reputation? Well, that they have in support courses that they have a uh, different online courses, that they have flexible schedule at night, online courses, very late as well. And the biggest reputation that they offer different technical or specialized uh, programs for improving probably the life at work. So that would be the reputation, right? Well, it, I mean, the reputation and the expertise depends on the type of company. Yes, no todas las empresas se dedican a lo mismo. Entonces, cada empresa tiene su experticia y, y el área a la que se dedican y la reputación que se han creado. So, take turns. Y eso es para que se pregunten. Traten de analizar las questions y dar una respuesta. What does company reputation mean? ¿Qué significa la reputación de una company? La fama que se haya hecho, right? Okay, por lo que la gente la conozca. How do business build their reputation? ¿Cómo hacen los negocios, las empresas para crear su reputación? Positive. Obviamente nadie se quiere, nadie se quiere crear una mala reputación, right? Si no, deja de ser preferable el business. Deja de... Deja de de percibir ganancias. And what's the area of the expertise of the company that you work for? Usted trabaja para una pharmacy, obviamente. La expertise sería medicine, right? Or, yes, medical prescriptions, uh, medicine in general. Si usted trabaja para una fábrica que hace zapatos, pues the expertise is in shoe en footwear, ¿ok? Y se trabaja para una empresa como un banco o financial services, right? So, those are the three questions that we're going to be discussing. Les voy a dar un minuto para que traten de tener una respuesta a cada una de estas questions. Así cuando sus partners les pregunten, ustedes ya puedan decir algo al respecto, ¿ok? What does company reputation mean? ¿Qué significa la reputation de una empresa? How do business build their reputation? And what's the area of expertise of the company that you work for? So you have two, three minutes. Traten de parafrasear, que no tiene que ser perfecto, but at least to have an idea, okay? Obviously, you have to explain. Just do this thing, okay? I work for this company. 
And the expertise of my company is choose, or my, the expertise of my company is educational services, or my the expertise of my company is English courses. I don't know. Bueno, todos trabajamos para diferentes type of companies, so we all have different type of expertise. By three minutes, empiecen a pensar acerca o escriban también las posibles respuestas que puedan dar. Yes, Laura. Hola, teacher. Este, la primera pregunta dice, sería como de qué se trata la empresa en la que estamos. En la primera pregunta es de qué se trata o oh, qué significa la reputación de una empresa en general. Mm, ¿En qué se basa? Lo vamos a adaptar a nuestra empresa. Pueden hacerlo. O, o cómo. O, o sea, en general. La bien. pregunta la hacen en general, pero si usted la quiere adaptar a la realidad de su empresa, no hay problema. No. Para dar un ejemplo y quedar más claro. Sería como la reputación de la empresa. Uh -huh. ¿Qué reputación tiene su empresa? Mm -hmm. Ya. Yeah. Right. No problema. Hola, buenas noches. Hola, 
la Débora. Por ejemplo. Okay. And, uh, question number three, I don't know my answer. Why? Eh, no, la, no la respondí, pero ahorita ya vi la, la imagen que me mandó la tita. Entonces, dame tu respuesta en lo que yo lo respondo. Ok, the first question, my answer is the rotation is something that is gained little by little, whether bad or good. In my case, a bank was... Was to have not a good reputation, but an excellent. And who is the building the reputation? Well, I work on a bank. Is home loan, credit, account, clients, and credit of of house. And is what is the area of experience of the company? You work for well. I I I work in a TA. Um, uh, where I have a I have a month is to change the 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 place. Well, uh, before I I I was in QA is the responsibility. Of of checking um the new product for clients and actually I I I responsibility for this the data center and that's it. Mm, okay, and the Yes. Okay. Um I I have the numbers. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, the number one. And the question. Mm -hmm. And the question, what does company reputation mean? Um, medical and aesthetic service. Okay. Number two, what the area of a specific of the company you work for, um, plastic surgers. Number three, uh, how do you basically build their will, reputation? Build their, build their reputation. Um, good practice. Uh, of social social responsibility, ethical value, and good communication. Communication.
All right. Nice. Nice practice. Is there any question? No? That was easy, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well, we have some vocabulary here. Reputation, non for companies, prestige, expertise, and rated as. So this is one of the examples. Oops, let's see, probably we can edit this a little bit and we can change. Give me one second. So maybe we can say, I don't know, maybe we can just leave it like this. Hold on. One second, one second. All right. So there are some companies here. Yes, we have Coca Cola, Divago. Probably you know these companies: Pizza Hut, Uber. So the reputation of Coca Cola. <laughs> Anybody knows? <laughs> Good reputation, bad reputation, positive, negative. Any comments? Uh -huh. No comments. Is there any prestige? Rated as? Well, Coca Cola is known for, ¿por qué se le conoce a Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola Company. Ahorita es oportunidad de hacer los pedazos. ¿no? <ríe> ¿Ok? Por veneno se le conoce. <ríe> ok, Coca-Cola is known for, Coca-Cola Company is known for selling. Ajá. Uh -huh. Adictiva. La quiebra hueso. Exactly. Not for super sugar drink soda. Yeah. But people love Coca-Cola. It has the company's prestige is one of the most popular company in the whole world. Creo que solo hay uno o dos países en el mundo que no tienen Coca-Cola company. Imagine. So it's rated as one of the most popular companies in the world, probably. So let's have it. Uber. I will tell Uber. Por qué se conoce Uber? Or Uber. It's known for? Or the prestige? Uh-huh. Transportation company? Well, it's an app, right? That now people work with this right. app everywhere in the world. Many countries use Uber. And it's known for uh, good service, reliable transportation service, mm -hmm. delivery as well, like Uber Eats. Mm -hmm. Or the expertise is transportation or delivery. Rated as the most popular as well, one of the most popular uh, transportation apps. Uh -huh. What about Pizza Hut? <laughs> okay, it's mm, the reputation is that they have a kind, nice service at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. that they are experts in pizza of course anybody knows about Trivago prestigio de la empresa más de company is prestige or rated as expertise in hotels Yes. Planning your trip. 
Well, these are just some of the examples. Yeah, as I was mentioning, you can take this vocabulary into consideration. Reputation, non for companies, prestigious for this rated us. Yeah. There are some other companies, of course. These were just a couple of examples. Describe. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Describe the expertise and reputations of their company. Of course, this is just a way to making this conversation look more attractive. But let me see. So the boy almost started the manual so that you can have a better idea what this looks like. <laughs> Se recuerdan de, de Rex, the company from Jessica, right? So they continue here, <laughs> okay? So, so, so Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see, and what is Rex known for? Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personnel is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Está rankeada como una de las 10 empresas más prestigiosas del Salvador. ¿Conocen a Rex? Probably ya no existe. It's, it's just an example. <laughs> uh -huh. Hablando y sin afán de hacer publicity, porque es el tema de hablar de companies, ¿cuáles creen que serían las 10 companies que están rated como las más prestigiosas en El Salvador? Google. Tal vez Google knows. <laughs> the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Companies. Se podría decir la constancia. Mm -hmm. Eso es por tradición, ¿verdad? <laughs> Many years. Uh, no, si sí podría uh, ser. Yeah, yo, yes. Really? Esa no es Diana. la colac. Diana. ¿Sí? Ajá. Good, good, good. Eh, quiero ver esta Bimbo. Bimbo. Bimbo es salvadorian. No, pero está, es, es mexicana la marca, pero. Pero es está... en the ten most prestigious en El Salvador. ¿Sí tienen planta de producción aquí? Sí, en mm. el plan de la laguna. Really. Así que ahí hay un montón de compañías. Yeah. Mm. I found it. <laughs> ya las encontré. Ya. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sí está la constancia, sí, pero no está bimbo. No, eh, eh. porque es mexicano. Este es el último rating. Aeroman es el number one. La Constancia, Banco Agrícola, AES, Holding, El Salvador, Unilever, Walmart. Pero Walmart también es Walmart, Mexico, and Central America. Ad hoc. Ad hoc. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's true. Mm -hmm. Ad hoc, yes, it's 100% Salvadorian. De hecho, para los que no conocen la empresa eh, o un poquito de la historia, el fundador de Empresas Ad Hoc, el señor Don Roberto, fue uno de los primeros visionarios que dijo el, el Salvador cómo va a progresar si su gente anda descalza. Le vamos a calzar el Salvador. Exacto, porque para ese tiempo, cuando él regresó a estudiar del extranjero, se da cuenta que la gente andaba con calles o literalmente barefoot no es una de las cosas mínimas de la historia del jugador pero bueno ok so, teacher y el yes. grupo Q también el grupo Q no aparece no sé por qué porque es una multi ajá multi, no es una compañía es una multi latina así. pero ajá. sí pero sí la compañía eléctrica eh, o, o AES AES ajá raro eh 
interesting. Mm -hmm. Aparece el gran banco. Sí, este, es, sí, este rating es, un, ajá, es bastante moderno, sí. Holcim también. Ajá. ¿Cómo y se llamaba Holcim antes? ¿Se recuerdan? César. Ajá, que eres el mento de Salvador, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ya han pasado años. <ríe> yes, many years. Y todo esto de, de Holcim inició en... ¿Alguien sabe en qué parte del Salvador? A uh, Metapan. That's right. Ahí donde están los caleros. Yes. Exactly. Bueno, hoy fue avance hablando del tema de saber de historia de Salvador. Bueno, no sé si les preguntan ese tipo de cosas a los niños, vean. <risa> no le preguntan qué, qué es anime. Ay, Dios mío. La verdad es que la cultura latina eh, se enfoca más en lo europeo. Eh, en lo, en lo admirar mismo. todo lo demás de, los otros, de la eh, otra cultura. Que la cultura de uno mismo. De uno mismo, unfortunately. Ah. Sí. Desgraciadamente. Bueno, ¿alguna duda con la... Majos Desserts, ok. ¿Qué pasa con Majos Desserts? Ah, el, el, el business. <ríe> The baby. <ríe> It's true. Su so famous company. David. Nunca nos pusimos de acuerdo para los desserts. Bueno, dudas sobre la, la conversation o la practicamos una vez más. Vamos a escuchar a Uh, veamos, Elvin, ¿quiere ser Daniel? Yes. Yes. Y escuchemos a Natalia, a Jessica. Ready? Okay. Go. So, Jessica, what does your company do? As a rest, we products close for kids. I see. It. I want this red. <coughs> Perdón. I see, and what is red not for? Red is now for the modernizing and the quality of the clothes we make. Great, right. and are you happy to work for red? Absolutely. Red is the country's a very precious company. The person is important for the. Congratulations. Congratulations, yes. Jessica, you are ready. Uh, red is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. Nice. All right. So, Jessica, what does your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex known for? Rex is known for, es conocido por, for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You're right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company in El Salvador. All right. Vale, les doy chance para que practiquen. Practice, practice, practice. Y luego pues lo practican con su padre. Traten de leerlo varias veces. Como si ustedes fueran Jessica and Daniel at once. Después pues practiquen con su padre. Y si su padre pues tiene alguna dificultad de pronunciación, pues le, le apoyan. Help, support. ¿Sí? I'm sorry for my neighbor's dog. I told you the other day. They're so noisy.
para que así veamos de ir practicando. Uh -huh. Vale, si querés, inicio yo. Ajá. Vale, sería, so, Jessica, what does your company do? Astrid, we produce clothes for cheap. I see, and what is red? No phone. Red is no for the modern design it and quality of the clothes we make. Great, and are you happy to work for red? Absolutely. Red is recon recognized as very prestigious company. Their person personal is important for team. Congratulations, Jessica. You uh, you are you are green. Red is red, red as, um, wow. espera, me llame otra vez. Red is red. Red as is one. red as one of the ten most, sí, ¿verdad? Sí, prestigio. Ajá. Sí, a eso me trae un poquito. Prestigio, prestigio companies in El Salvador. Este, no sé si va a participar Nelson y Jocelyn. Mm, no sé si pueden participar. Nelson, ¿no sé ¿cómo seguís con el audio? Sí, escucho. No sé si ustedes me escuchan. Sí. sí. Bye. Solo que me cuesta porque estoy con el teléfono. Igual, puedo leer ahorita. Bye. Entonces inicio yo y continúo usted. Vaya, perfecto. So, Jessica, what do your company do? At Rex, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex not for? Rex is not for the modern design and the quality of the clothes, clothes, clothes uh, we made. Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Tracy. You're right. Rex is a rate as one of the 10 most prestigious, prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. okay. Teacher, I have a question. Is correct say pre prestigious? Prestigious. Prestigious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y recognize. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Recognize. Okay. Thank you. All right. Teacher. Teacher. Hi. Teacher, when. Cuando están la, la T y la H, su pronunciación es como Z. A veces. Closer. Ahí Closer. en ese caso sí. A veces Closer. puede ser como D, como this, that, those. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clothes. Mm -hmm. Clothes, yes. In Clothes. this case, yes. Okay, with birthday. Is... Birthday, yes. Birthday, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teacher. No problem. What does your company do? Company in El Salvador. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<coughs> ok. Ahora vamos a intercambiar. Eh, Erwin. Jessica. So, Jessica, what does your company do? A phrase, we produce clothes for kids. I see. And what is Rex now for? Rex is now for the modern design and the quality of the clothes we make. Great. And are you happy to work? Perdón. Terminaste de decirlo, que me desconcentre. Sí, sí, sí. <laughs> Great. And are you happy to work for Rex? Absolutely. Rex is recognized as a very prestigious company. Their personal is important for them. Congratulations, Jessica. You are right. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Okay. Laura. Hola. Entonces, este,
Okay, do you have these questions? After practicing the conversation? Let's work on this exercise. Describe the expertise and reputations of their company, true or false. Say, if the statement below are true or false. Number one, people know Rex produces clothes with modern designs for kids. Number two, people know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. Number three, people see Rex as a prestigious company. Number four, people rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. You say if these sentences are true or false. One the first is true. The first one is true. Okay, people know Rex produces clothes with this mother's design. Mm -hmm. Rex is known for the modern designs and the quality of the clothes we make. So the first one definitely is true. People know Rex manufactures quality clothes for kids. True. True. That's right. People see Rex as a prestigious company. Mm -hmm. It's true. True as well. And people rate Rex as one of the 20 most prestigious companies in El Salvador. Will they? False. False. Um, uh, false. False. Oh, yeah. False. Okay. Because it's a 10. 10 most prestigious. <laughs> exactly. All right. Done. Actually, this is the exercise you have it here. And now, company identity. How to use a passive voice. I know this manual has a lot of structures in it, but just study the, the verbs after the propositions, like the verbs in ING after the propositions. And just like that, we have another structure. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Just the same one. Okay. Okay. Okay, describe the expertise and reputation of their company. Oh my God. This is an example from a friend. He says it's the name of the company is Kevin. So he gives this type of services. Kevin's company is known for excellent translation. <laughs> the translation company is rated as one of the most prestigious in El Salvador, or one of the 10, one of the most popular. So this is just an example, but this is how we use the passive voice. Los verbos como más usados para este tipo de ejemplos tenemos known and rated. ¿Es conocido o es 
ranqueado, right? So it's en listado. Would be. McDonald is known for selling delicious hamburgers. I see it's rated as the best English institute. And then we have the example, right? Contrast the sentence in both from the dialogue in exercise two and the sentences in exercise three. We sentences emphasize the doer of the action, recognize and right? And which sentence emphasize the actions to be known for, to be recognized as, to be rated as. But en palabras cristianas, que es la voz pasiva, se conoce como. O sea, no, se, no estamos diciendo quién la conoce, sino que la empresa se conoce por. Ya es evaluada como, es reconocido como. Entonces, lo que importa es lo que sucede, no quién hace la acción. Esto es lo que explica este cuadro. So use the passive voice to emphasize that the action are more important than the doers. Look at the examples and complete the statement below. Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. Rex is rated as one of the 10 most prestigious company. To say a sentence in the past voice used the verb. Just, I'm gonna get something. Mm -hmm. Vamos a usar el verb be. Wait. No me gusta este circle. I don't like that circle. It can be better. But. Para formar la voz pasiva, vamos a usar el verb be. Entonces, se fijan, acá está. Is. Is. Followed by the present participle or the past participle. Vamos a usar el past participle. Recognize. ¿Por qué es el past participle? Porque tiene la L. Para los verbos regulares, obviamente, los verbos irregulares como non, se tiene que aprender toda la forma. Perdón, toda la forma. Yes. Of the main verb, right? Is recognized. Rex is recognized. Rex is rated. Rex is known. Yes. As one of the ten most prestigious company, Rex is recognized as a prestigious company. McDonald's is known for selling delicious hamburger. I see it's rated as the best English institute. Okay. ¿Por qué se conoce? Veamos un ejemplo. Banco Agrícola. Podrían usarlo así. Banco Agrícola is known for the oldest Salvadorian bank. <ríe> y por lo que se conozca, por la reputación que se conozca, ¿verdad? Vaya, déjenme clear all this y avanzamos. Van a escribir si es singular, como the company is. Products are. Si es singular, is. Si es plural, are. Y luego el verbo que está acá en participio. Todos son, con, terminan con ed, excepto non, que solo se le agrega n. Voy a dar tres minutos para que las traten de hacer y luego pues las comparamos.
Okay, done. The first one is done. Our company is considered the best manufacturer of brooms in the country. Number two, come on, let's go. Hmm? Our products are rated. Our products are rated. Wait. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. As five of the most popular in the United States. Okay, number three. The customer service event are precise. Mm -hmm. Sorry, perceived. Our customer service agents are perceived as the most efficient in the sector. The company New. is known as a major producer of shoes in the region. Our vegetables mm -hmm. are right are rated mm -hmm. as the least contaminated of the national market. Okay. Done. Mm -hmm. Y ahora escriban. Aquí dice five lines paragraph. Acerca de la reputación de su empresa. Pueden usar el verbo is considered, is rated, is perceived, is known. Escriban tres nada más. Ustedes deciden con cuál es verbo. Lo pueden escribir en el chat igual. Escriben el nombre de la company. Y luego por qué se conoce. Cómo es considerada, uh -huh. cómo es evaluada.
Okay, we have one message already. A person, my company is considered as a company of solid prestige in the administration of associate capital and the management of saving and credits. Only one. Mm, hello. Hi. Okay, my company is practice respect with customer and my company is had excellent customer service so you can say my company is recognized for practicing excellent customer service mm -hmm. no, it's, okay. it's, yeah it's recognized or it's known yes. uh, no mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. My company from Laura is considered a very large cooperative and it has eight agencies in the country. Good. It is considered a cooperative that helps members of the community and it is considered a company that holds celebrations for important days. Wow. <laughs> in my company, uh, the quality of the products and customer service is defined by its dishes and variety of the menu. Yeah, definitely your company is known for the quality of the products and the customer service. Natalia, our plastic surgery clinic is considered the only in high technology in El Salvador. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a good reputation you have. Mm -hmm. What else? What else? What else? Our services are rated as innovators. Nice. Very good. Excellent. Well, some people didn't get to send the messages on the chat, but you can still do it. By mientras los terminan de enviar sus reputations, is considered, is known, is recognized. Vamos a ir pasando la tendance. Okay, Ivan says the company is known for the mortgage credit. The company is seen. For the credits. All right. Nice. Okay, okay. Okay. Ana Cristina. Brian. David. Nadie sabe la tendencia del final. ¿Qué pasa? <laughs> Thank you. Débora. Doris. Elvin. Present. Gracias. Gracias. Héctor. Presence. Imelda. Present teacher. Hi. <laughs> Imelda. Ivan. Hi, good night. Present teacher. Joanna. Jocelyn. Present. Karen. Present. Kevin. Laura. Maria, Miguel, Nelson, present. present teacher, Paula, present, Ricardo, Wendy, Wilmer, ah, present Ricardo, dijo que estaba en un training, yes. present teacher, thank you, thank you, bueno, present en Irma Guerrero, ay, thank you, Deborah, Ready for today's session one on one? Ready. No sé qué me dijo. Debra, Debra. Yes. Ready. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, good night, everybody. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 See you. See you. Bye. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye. Hello, teacher. I have hey, a question. Tell me. Sí, una pregunta, teacher. Dice que yo estaba preguntando por medio de WhatsApp, pero no he recibido respuesta. Uh -huh. A ver, le comento, yo me voy a cambiar de trabajo. Entonces, quiero saber... Eh, si es necesario que actualice los datos con ustedes o 
sí hasta que inicie módulo, el segundo módulo, digamos, uh -huh. que el otro año, ahí lo voy a anexar, lo voy a actualizar al momento que va, ya mande como la planilla y todo. Sí, yo consideraría que hasta entonces, pero no sé si puede llamar, no necesariamente preguntar por WhatsApp. Mm, llamar directamente. Ajá, para que le confirmen, pero yo pensaría que sí, hasta el otro. Ah, oh. uh -huh. que se tenía mi duda si tenía que actualizarlo desde ya uh -huh. o en todo caso esperaba. No, creo que sí tiene que esperar. Porque igual este, uh -huh. con este ya está registrado. Ajá, correcto, correcto. Uh -huh. Porque luego vi que en cada módulo es enviar uh -huh. la presentación, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Vale, de acuerdo, eso quería saber. Right. No problem. Thanks, good night. Good night.